President and CEO of HAI. Welcome to this month's edition of VFR, Viola's Flight Report, where we review what HAI has been doing for you. Later in this video, you will hear from Jean-Charles Detroit, Managing Director of HeliSim in Dallas. HeliSim provides flight simulator training for Airbus helicopters. If you fly those aircraft and are coming to HAI Heli Expo, you should check out HeliSim and their programs for IIMC training and emergency landing training for non-pilots. But first, a brief review of HAI's work on your behalf. I'm very happy to announce that our in-person Aerial Firefighting Safety Conference was a great success. We had to close registration early after reaching our limit for attendees ahead of schedule. That response speaks to the eagerness of our industry to meet in person once again and connect with our community. During the conference, a great lineup of speakers, including the U.S. Forest Service and Interior Department personnel, offered insights on safety and government aerial firefighting operations. I want to thank everyone who attended, presented, and sponsored. In advocacy news, HAI remains engaged in defending our industry in the face of serious safety concerns and operational disruptions caused by the deployment of 5G wireless systems. These systems have been shown to cause interference with radar altimeters or radals. In early December, the FAA issued two airworthiness directives containing measures to avoid potential 5G interference with the safety critical equipment. The AD for helicopters prohibits the following operations in the presence of 5G C-band wireless broadband interference. Performing approaches that require rate out minimums for rotorcraft offshore operations. Engaging hover or search and rescue autopilot modes that require rate out data. And performing takeoffs and landings in accordance with any procedure that requires rate out data. NOTAMs will be issued to identify areas of 5G C-band interference. The FAA may also issue additional ADs or revise these two to address other hazards caused by the deployment of 5G. HAI continues to work with safety and spectrum regulators on a viable path forward, one that permits the 5G deployment while preserving aviation safety and causing minimal disruptions to operations. Any solution must include protections and safety solutions for helicopters, both at heliports and at the off-airport locations where our operations routinely occur. HAI will keep our members updated as this issue develops. Please check out rotor.org slash radout for the latest news. HAI has also been active on preserving air tour operators' access to America's national parks. The National Park Service has issued draft air tour management plans, or ATMPs, for 12 parks. It is clear from those plans that the National Park Service aims to reduce air tour operations to such a degree that it will no longer be economically feasible for air tour companies to stay in business. We are also concerned that these plans are being produced without the involvement of the National Parks Overflight Advisory Group. I serve on that group along with representation from general aviation, air tour operators, environmental groups, and the Native American tribes. Congress directed that this group provide advice and counsel on commercial air tour operations over and near national parks. Yet the Park Service has shut us out of this process, even as they make decisions about flight routes, altitudes, and other critical operational decisions. HAI has expressed our concerns about the handling of air tour management plans to the leaders in the Interior Department, the Park Service, the Transportation Department, and the FAA. We have also created a campaign that encourages air tour operators to reach out to Congress with their concerns about the plans. And we have provided materials that operators can use to ask their customers to do the same. If you would like to learn more or get involved, visit rotor.org slash ATMP. While at the European Rotors VTOL Show and Safety Conference last month, I had the privilege of providing attendees with an overview of the Vertical Aviation Safety Team, or VAST. 
VAST has announced that it will host a global vertical aviation safety conference in 2022. This will replace the Rotocraft Safety Conference that was held by the FAA every two years. The VAST conference will include all sectors of vertical aviation from around the world. In the coming months, I will have more to share about this conference. Or you can visit vast.aero to learn more about VAST and its good work to improve global VTOL safety. For more vertical flight news, check out the December edition of Rotor Magazine, which will be out at the end of this month. In this issue, we look at how one AMT training program puts the focus on helicopters while preparing AMTs for the modern industry. We also profile a Canadian company using autonomous uncrewed aircraft to make beyond line of visual sight deliveries to remote communities. I also recommend that you follow HAI on our social media channels, including Instagram. Our most popular post on that channel is a video by HAI's new marketing director, Katerina Badoya, filmed at the Association of the U.S. Army's 2021 annual meeting and expo, the short video offers a sneak peek of a Bell V280 Valor. The Valor is Bell's proposed design to meet Army requirements for a future long-range assault aircraft. With nearly 100,000 views and counting, I think it's safe to say that our followers are impressed with this proposal. Do you have cool rotorcraft videos you want the world to see? Send them to social media at rotor.org for a chance to be featured on HAI's Instagram page. As 2021 comes to a close, HAI Heli Expo 2022 is less than three months away. We want to see you there. So make sure to register at heliexpo.com by January 14th to get the best rate. And if you're exhibiting, give the gift of HAI Heli Expo by providing customers and prospects with a free pass to attend the show. Each exhibitor receives some passes and more can be purchased at special discounts for our exhibitor partners. Contact heliexpo at rotor.org with any questions about how you can use this incredible value to build your business. And now we will go back to Dallas to hear from Dan Sweet, HAI's Director of Public Relations and Communications as he chats with Jean-Charles Detroit of HeliSim. Today we're here with Jean-Charles Detroit, who is the Managing Director of HeliSim, an HAI member company in Grand Prairie, Texas. Jean-Charles, thank you for having us today. You're welcome. Please tell me, what is uh, HeliSim and what is your relationship and training with Airbus? So HeliSim is a simulation training center for Airbus helicopters. So we have two centers right away. One, the main one is in France and Marignan, close to the factory, where we have all the AV range. And we, two years ago, we implemented a new simulation training center here in, in Texas. Okay, how many students come through your program every year and it's, about how many courses do you have? Uh, we have many courses. Uh, once again in France, we do all, all the uh, FA courses for the 330, the Super Prima L1, and uh, the 155 as well. We are all FA qualified. We have the 175 and the 160 who should be uh, in the coming months, uh, FA certified mm -hmm. as well. And here we have right now the H145 Level D full flight simulator available. Okay. Uh, how many other simulators besides this level D simulator do you offer? So we have a 350 uh, full flight simulator as well, and we have FTDs on the EC135 and EC145. Okay. If, uh, if I was a, a pilot and I wanted to come through some of the training, how would I uh, get to come through your training programs? Uh, mainly if you want uh, wet trainings, so if you want us to provide the instructor, it will be through Airbus. Airbus is leading all the uh, wet training uh, lease contract. For if you want dry training, if you want to come with your own instructor, it's really managed directly with LEC. And who are the instructors in your program? What, uh, what are their backgrounds? Know, they are, they are, our instructors are all Airbus instructor, flight instructor pilots. And mm -hmm. They have all flown the aircraft they are teaching here. So it's a uh, okay, well, high level. Okay, well obviously we're coming here in March for a Heli Expo. 
Uh, are there going to be any special programs that you might be offering around that time that uh, people could sign up for? Ah, yes, we are. We want to promote, we have two programs we want to promote, uh, in addition to all the initial training and recurrent, is the IIMC, because it's still, it's still a top killer for, for the industry, and, and we will promote and promote again this one. And then we have another one which is quite successful, is the non-pilot emergency landing training. Will uh, allow either the nurse in the paramedics operation or the law enforcement, the office, the police officer, or the law enforcement to be able to land the aircraft and survive. Okay, inter so, very interesting. Um, what uh, what else did we not cover that uh, you might want our uh, prospective students to know? So what, well, what I put the emphasis on is that uh, here in, in Edison, so in Airbus, we only use a OEM data package for the simulator. That means that. Whatever you have in the sim, it will be the actual uh, software. The autopilot is the actual, the FADEC is the actual, the, uh, everything is real. So it, it takes you to the uh, high level of fidelity of what happened in the sim will happen exactly the same in the aircraft. That sounds fascinating. Is uh, anything else you'd like to mention at all? No, we will be happy to welcome all the customer because we have customer from Canada, from the US, of course, but from South America and even some from Asia and Oceania because it's it's really easy to travel to uh, Texas to Dallas, and so uh, please come. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, John Charles. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, your welcome. time today. Thank you. Well, that wraps up this month's edition of VFR. Please email with your comments or suggestions on how HAI can provide you with better service. Until next time, fly safe, stay safe, and keep those rotors turning.